A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Wednesday, July 17th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. The public comment session once again dominated the Newburgh School Board meeting last night with calls for President Christine Bellow to resign after using vulgarity toward a member of the audience at the July 2nd meeting On an open, hot mic, Bellow opened the meeting by apologizing for her mistake, but Speaker said she should have apologized directly to the person involved in a timely fashion. The harshest criticisms came from board member Letitia Politti, who accused Bellow of racism by changing the seat of Superintendent Jackie Lynn Manning Campbell from the front of the dais to the side. Bellow says it was Campbell's decision. This was not the first time the superintendent's seat was changed. Former board president Darren Stridiron also moved her seat. Richard Desiderio, a teacher who was recently dismissed by the board, spoke briefly recounting his whistleblowing regarding athletes not attending classes. The audience made it difficult for him to speak. Newburgh City Councilman Omari Shakur continued interrupting Desiderio. Man molested a child and was fired or whatever. And now he's coming back here trying to get a job in your community. But he was already fired for molesting a child or something to do with a child. Now he's coming back to your community and he's trying to get a job. And these people right here, they allow him. These are the people who allow him. So look at them faces carefully and remember. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> After two hours of public comment, the board started to work on the agenda with Campbell giving a report. She defended spending decisions and cautioned the new board members that poor decisions could lead to lawsuits. By a 21-2 vote, the Ulster County Legislature last night approved rebuilding the 50-year-old county swimming pool in New Paul's. At issue was applying for a state grant for the work, which had to be done by last Friday, but the county legislature was not going to meet until two working days later. Legislator Herb Litz took issue with the timing. It has nothing to do with fixing the pool. We need to fix the pool. We should fix the pool. But we also need to abide by the current law of our county that says When we're going to encumber money, the legislative body needs to uh, approve the the submission of the grant application. But legislator Kathy Nolan said there was no money encumbered by submission of the application to the state. And there is no policy that says that the executive branch cannot submit an application that doesn't require a statement saying that the legislature has already approved. So this application did not require any such statement. If the state does grant funding, the county would be required to pick up 20 percent of the cost of the approximately $3 million to repair the broken pipe under the pool that has caused major leaking. The pool's been shut down for the entire summer because of the leak. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. A hot new exhibit will soon be open at the Dutchess County Fairgrounds in Rhinebeck that will focus on the history of the fire service in the county. The Firefighters Museum of Dutchess County began as an idea after an exhibit under a tent at fair events drew lots of attention, says Kyle Pottenberg, director of the museum. We were just amazed by the amount of people that came in to see our display. Uh, We bring in some apparatus and stuff from our neighboring departments that have some antiques, and we've had a quite successful run, except for the COVID years, which affected everybody. The Museum of Firefighting is expected to have a grand opening during the 182nd Dutchess County Fair on August 20th. A 23-year-old Pine Bush man was sentenced in Orange County Court yesterday to three to nine years in state prison following his guilty plea to aggravated assault. Chauncey Smith crashed his vehicle into another car 
while impaired by marijuana. The teenage victim, who was paralyzed as a result of the crash, spoke at sentencing about the impact of Smith's crimes on his life. It's alleged that on August 14, 2023, Smith was driving westbound on Route 17K in the town of Newburgh. His vehicle crossed over the double yellow line, dividing traffic, and collided head-on into a vehicle going eastbound. As a result, a 15-year-old inside the other vehicle was injured, causing paralysis. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.